Hello everyone. Welcome to the series solving SQL interview questions. In this video, we'll be solving an SQL interview question asked at Apple. As you can see on the screen, the problem that we'll be solving today is customer details. Find the details of each customer regardless of whether the customer made an order. Output the customer's first name, last name and the city along with the order details. You may have duplicate rows in your results due to a customer ordering several of the same items. Sort records based on the customer's first name and the order details in ascending order. As you can see, we have two tables, customers and orders. Let me just quickly have a look at all the columns that are present in both the tables. Customers table contains ID, the first name, last name, city, which we want. And the orders table contains ID, customer ID, which I believe this customer ID is the same as the ID present in the customers table and order date and order details, which again is something that we want. According to our approach, the first step of solving an interview question is understanding the inputs and the outputs. Now, what are our inputs? Since I said find the details for each customer regardless of whether the customer made an order, I'm going to use the customer ID as one of the inputs. And they have mentioned what the output should contain and they've mentioned that it will contain some duplicates. Now they also said to sort records based on the customer's first name and the order details. So my inputs will also contain customer's first name and order details to perform the sorting. And the output should contain customer's first name, last name and the city along with the order details. So these are going to be my inputs and the outputs. The second step of our approach is articulating the solution verbally to the interviewer. In our approach, we have established that the output should contain first name, last name, city, which is coming from the customer's table. And it should also contain order details, which is coming from the orders table, which means we have to combine both of the table results to get the final output. And for that, I can perform a join. Now, what join do I have to perform? Given that I'm joining customer's table on the orders table, I'll have to use a left join so that I'll get all the customer details present in the customer's table irrespective of whether they've made an order or not. And that's what the question states. So I'll be performing a left join on the customer's tables with respect to the orders table to get the final output result. Finally, they've also mentioned that we have to order it by first name and also order details. So this is going to be my approach. Now the third step of our approach is constructing the query step by step. And the first part of our query construction is performing the join. Select, since my output should contain first name, last name, city and the order details, these are the column names that will be present in the select statement. First name, last name, city, order details from customers, left join orders on customers.id is equal to orders.cust id because we have established that customer id is the id that is common and similar to the id in the customers table so let me just run this as you can see the left join has been performed and whenever there is a customer who made an order the order details value is filled and if that customer has not made any order that order details section is empty now the second part of our query construction is ordering this by order details and the customer's first name so i'm just going to say order by first name comma order details and i'm going to run this as you can see this has been ordered according to the first name and then followed by the order details. So yeah, that's what they've been asking us in the question. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys next time. Bye.